This morning's coffee with is with Ted Wynn. We have gospel artist Ted Wynn. Thank you so much for being here. My how are you? I'm well, how are you? Very well. Good. So you have a new album, yes. Stand in Awe. Yes. Tell us about the title. Um, the title is really focused on the word awe. When you think of awe, you think of being at a place where you cannot articulate through language how you feel about yeah. something. And so when I think about life and blessings and inspiration and God, I am in awe of those, those things. That's great. And that's the title track as well. Yes. So tell us about this new music. What inspired you this time around or the focus? Um, you know, this time I took my time and did this album over like four years because, wow. I'm, you know, I think that as you live life and you gain experiences, you have something to, to talk about, something to write about. And so for me, this album is a snapshot of what I've been living through over the past four years. Um, and so the music, I think, will hopefully speak to where people are in terms of perspective and gratitude and being introspective. There's a lot happening in the world, as we know, you're in media, so you know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes it's easy to get kind of bogged down and to be despondent about what's happening. So this is one of those um, albums where I have content that allows you to, to, to say, you know, um, that may, may, not, may not be the best thing, but I can look at these other things and still find something to be grateful about. Um, like, you, you know, the country is so divided right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so much happening, and yeah. you are using your platform to talk about social justice, to uplift others. Yeah. Um, is this a comfortable role for you to be in? It is. It feels very natural for me mm -hmm. um, because I think that as a citizen of this country, um, we should all be concerned about the least of us. Um, even when we look at, uh, like Jesus talked about, he said, if you do these things to me, it's, it's, it's as though you've done them to the least of these people. And so I think that as we look at um, prison systems, as we look at unemployment, as we look at health care, as we look at just people who are disenfranchised, those of us who are aware of those things should use our voices and our platforms to help everybody that we can. This is something, especially this these days, uh, people are interested in. Mm -hmm. I imagine you're not getting much pushback from your fans. This is kind no. of something that people want. Yeah. People want you to engage in as an artist. Well, I'm not getting pushback from fans. Most people are very supportive. Um, there are some gospel media outlets that are apprehensive mm -hmm. um, because their focus is usually about things that inspire. And so if you interpret um, these conversations as not inspirational or non-inspirational, mm -hmm. then it might be like, and eh, do we really want to talk about that? But I feel like it's a part of those of us who are who identify as Christian, I feel like it's a part of what we should be talking about. Mm -hmm. Social justice, I think, should be a platform. Even if you look back at like Dr. King and people who were inside of Christianity, I mean, they were very vocal about social justice, but they also identified as Christian. So I don't think those things are mutually exclusive. Separate, yeah. yeah. Um, a very personal album then. Yes, very much so. It's a very personal album. I have a song called Grateful. Uh, I was on my way to the writing session, and I am unfortunately not like, uh, I am like a lot of uh, black men who grew up without a father in the home, um, for various reasons. Um, and so for some people, it's, it's, a, it's a sore spot. It's a, it's a difficult thing to navigate through. Um, but for me, I thought about it and was reminded of the fact that my dad wasn't there. But my mom, grandmother, great-grandmother, aunts, cousins, I had an entire, they were, I had an infrastructure of family support. And so I choose to be grateful. And as I do concerts, I often say this, you can cry over who left, or you can celebrate who stayed. Mm -hmm. And so I choose to focus my, my light, my time, my energy on the people who stayed. You were very uplifting. I You're to very be. positive. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I feel to good be. talking to well, you. Well, that's good. <laughs> I try um, to be. So with concerts, are you touring now? Or are you going to be performing locally that we can check you out? Yeah, I'm going to be performing um, at the church Ebenezer um, Methodist Church in... Maryland? I forget the city. Um, but okay. it's, uh, Ebenezer is a big church. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm in D.C. I'm going to New York. I'm going to Chicago. I'm all over the country uh -huh. right now. So it's exciting. And I think the other thing about taking time off is this gives me, it, it allowed me to be refreshed, to um, I have a business, to grow my business, to spend time with my nephews. I have eight of them. Whoa. Um, yeah, I'm the best uncle in the world. I bet. And, <laughs> so that, all of those things are, were, were good for me and gave me things again to write and sing and talk about. So okay. I'm ready. So stand in awe, where can we, where can we buy it? Um, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, retail, whatever stores are near you. But all I'm, the normal places. All the normal places, <laughs> yes. Give us your, your website or your social media handles so we can 
can follow you and keep track of you? I am on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. All of it's Ted Wynn. Uh, a couple of those may be official Ted Wynn, but it's T E D W I N N. Okay, so in case we want to find out if you're performing in DC or here, we can yes. go on there and all the information. Yes, all the info is there. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. You're I very, obviously it. very proud of this album. I am. I don't know that people say that often, or some people may feel like it's self aggrandizing. I'm not certain, but I'm very proud of the work that we did. Uh, I worked with Myron Butler, who's a producer, Justin Gilbert and Anthony Parrish are two guys from Atlanta who did the bulk of the album. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're with Alicia Keys and Justin Timberlake and a lot of other people. Wow, big size. So, yeah, so they're really great producers and I feel like we did a very good quality product. Well, product. We can't wait to listen to it and thank you so much for stopping by to talk thank to you. us about it. Alright, we'll be right back after this. It's WJZ.